Hi, I'm Tecumseh Fitch, and welcome to Bioacoustics 101. In this series of mini lectures, we're going to explain the basic concepts of voice science and bioacoustics in terms that anybody can understand. So what makes formant frequencies? Well, this is a little harder to get your head around. As I explained before, the pitch, or the fundamental frequency, is caused by vibrating vocal folds inside of your larynx. But what causes the formant frequencies is actually vibrating air within the vocal tract. So let me give you an example of that by using a gin bottle full of water, I assure you. This is a chamber of air, so there's water in the bottom down here, and now up here we've got air, and when I blow across the top, what I'm going to do is set this air into vibration like a spring. So it's going to vibrate, and what you hear as the pitch corresponds to the vibration of this air. Now if you think about it, big things tend to vibrate slower than little things. So for now I take a drink of water, I'm going to increase the volume of the air. So now there's more air. So what do you think will happen to the pitch? It'll go down because the frequency of vibration goes down. Let's do it again. Okay, what's vibrating is not the water, it's not the bottle, it's the air inside of the bottle. Okay? So let's try this again. Now I'm just going to use some simple tubes. These are just empty cardboard tubes, but they're full of air, of course. And if you take a tube and knock on it, as I'm sure you've all done, you can hear a sort of frequency-like sound. That kind of boom, boom. That corresponds to a set of formant frequencies inside of this tube. So that's, again, it's air within the tube that's vibrating. Okay, let's do it with a smaller tube. Because it's smaller, the frequencies, it will vibrate faster, meaning the frequencies will be higher. Right? And if I use a really short one, it'll be higher still. Okay? So that's basically the principle of formant frequencies. It's air, in this case, inside of my vocal tract, it's the air that's vibrating. So for one more demo, I'm going to take this little thing, and I'll play it. So this is essentially what the larynx would be like without any vocal tract at all. So this is a formant-free sound. I'll put it through a short, the equivalent of a short vocal tract. You can hear it sounds kind of small. If I put it through this, it'll sound a little bit bigger. And if I put it through the longest tube, it'll sound bigger still. Okay. Now, crucially, this is what creates the sound. This is the source of the sound, whereas this is acting as a filter of the sound. It's the exact same thing with your vocal tract, except that now my larynx is acting as the source, and the air inside of my vocal tract is acting to make performance. That's acting as a filter of the output sound. Okay, I want to give you two final ways of understanding what formants are. The first is a visual analogy. So we can think of formants as acting like filters that let certain frequencies through while blocking other frequencies out. And the analogy here is a house. If you're standing outside of a house, you can see what lights are on on the inside of the house because of windows. Okay, so the formant frequencies are like windows that let some things through and the walls, of course, block out other things. And in the same way that from outside of the house, you can both see where the windows are and you can tell what kind of lights are on. You can see whether it's, you know, just regular lights are on or disco lights or there's a fire or candles. All of that is equivalent to the source and the windows themselves are like the filter. Another way of, th of understanding formants is to imagine what would happen if I could take my head off. So imagine my head could be removed right here and I could take my vocal tract, which is what controls the formants, and put it onto different animals. So if I could take my head off and stick it on a bison, I could, the, the formant frequencies can be imposed on the bison source. And here's what that would sound like. Where in the hell are you? Where in the 